Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, about 17 of Let's Play. Some American Truck Simulator, Star Legion Trucking, where we had a very, very short job because I wanted to, you know, get Brownsville out of the way, which then leaves uh, Laredo, Del Rio, Junction, Fort Stockton, Van Horn, El Paso, Odessa, Lubbock, Amarillo, and last, but probably not least, probably least, we'll probably just be saying random, uh, is Dalhart. So let's see where we can go from uh, Brownsville. So we've got a Fort Worth, we've got a McAllen, we've got a McAllen, we've got a McAllen, we're going to be uh, Brownsville. I, I would never do that. We could go all the way up to Fort Worth. It's a long job. It's good pay. However, we need to check to see if there's a, there's a Laredo job. So I think we're going to be taking that instead, unless there's a, you know, a decent paying job that's a little bit longer up that direction. Uh, that would be a negative. So let's uh, take the, uh, where is it, Laredo job. There it is. It is a speedy job. It needs to be done ASAP, but uh, nice oh, little job. Sorry, let, wait, wait, wait. Whereabouts is this on the map? Okay, it's not all, I was going to say, if it's all the way down here and I, I could have stopped there in the end of the last part, I'll be, I'd, I'd be pissed off, but no, it's not. We're good. We are going to need to repair our truck soon. Like, we need to start taking some bigger jobs. You know, we need to get a level 10. Because we're gonna, this truck is going to be running on, like, fumes in terms of the maintenance department by the time we're done with it. Because look at that. We are at 9% on both. We're nearly a tenth of our truck. Need, like, our truck needs maintenance. However, we are so close to leveling up. Why would we, uh, well, why would we, you know? That's kind of like my problem is like, I don't want to waste money. Like if I, if I fix it, I'm wasting money to then buy some new stuff. Oh, it's not that. I'm not stupid. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. I know I need to turn left, mate. I'm looking at all those guys turn right as I just sit here in pain. There we go. Hey, look at that beautiful Freightliner. Seeing a lot of Freightliners around. I never saw this many Volvos when I had a Volvo. I feel like they get. I feel like uh, down in Texas they're a little bit Freightliner oriented. I don't, I don't know, but it's just it might just be me. But I think they've got a little thing. I don't want to know if Freightliner is American. Uh, is a uh, Texan truck now? Oops, sorry. That. Sorry, PlayStation Five controller. If I touch the, tr the touchpad, does not like this game. Even though. This game knows I'm using a PS5 controller. Like, like if, if you ever just like slowly move it and then you flick upwards, it just it just spazzes out, which is really funny. I don't actually remember what we're getting. I I don't actually remember looking at what we're getting. I just saw a job to uh to Laredo, I think it was, uh, and you know, takes us across the border where we need to go. So that's all I care about, you know. Oh, that this is honestly just a very nice truck. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a shame to say goodbye to the day cab, but it's gonna be nice saying hello to the sleeper. Until I realize that I now have a medium wheelbase. Keep right, and then turn right. And the wheelbase will be bigger than I've got, which means I'm gonna have to adjust to a new turn wheelbase. Right. And needless to say. I, oh god, we took that a little faster than I took it the first time. Well, yeah, needless to say, I am not looking forward to a medium or even a long wheelbase. We're going to have to do it. We're going to have to, you know, get used to it at some point, but it's going to be torture uh, to park in certain places. Like, once we start using certain um, trailers, I am probably going to be taking 10, like, 5 to 10 minutes at minimum to park. But please feel free to shit on me in the comments. Good driving. Don't lie to me, Doug. I don't like being lied to. Okay, so it's round back. If you tell me that I need to reverse down here, I'm going to cry. Right, I guess the tears are coming out then. <laughs> Bastard, that's such a bitchy place to put that. It's also realistic. Oh god, I think I just 
Oops. I thought there was more space than there was. My bad building. Uh, you know, you didn't need that. You didn't need those windows, right? God, that was... Oh, God. That was a... Uh, that was a fucking... That was a nightmare. All right, let's... Uh, all right. Start coming in a little bit early. But not too early now, because there is a little... Uh, yeah, there is that. I'm going to say that. Let's slow down a little bit because we want to make sure we, you know, we're being, a, you know, want to make sure we're adjusting this really well. I just have a little bit more of a drink, keeping myself nice and, uh, drive safe. You know, nice and, uh, fueled. Right, so we're going to, uh, Laredo. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, wait. If I, uh, can I. Oh, shit. Oh, that. I, okay, we're not gonna go there because that looks like it's gonna be awkward. Go, we'll go get, grab this one. We'll go grab you. And they look Lone Star forwarding. Um,. Oh, there's a question mark over there as well. Go on then, we'll go Let's pick go. up that one as well. We may even get the other one, we'll see. Cheers for, uh, cheers for the goods, lads. Let's get you, uh, we'll get it there as soon as, as promptly as we can. Right, let's go. So yeah, once we get this job done, uh, we will hopefully be level at nine. We're not even level nine yet, Jesus Christ. Uh, I really want to take a longer job again because the seven hour job we did was really nice XP wise. Um, I would like to take another longer job, which is why I kind of wish I took that longer job in the last part, but I'm glad I didn't. Glad I didn't because, you know, I did the right thing. I got Brownsville. In the long story, it will make our journey outside of Texas quicker. Go straight. In the long term, I cry. Keep right, and then keep left. Keep right, then keep left. So it wants me to turn right. Keep left. And then oh, I see what right. it's trying to do. Yeah, it's trying to slingshot me up here. Exit left. Fair enough. I get you. I get you, Doug. Doug. Doug, you've been understood, mate. You've been understood. You can stop talking now, Doug. Doug, shut up. Right. So, yeah, we get ourselves up to Laredo. It's a bit of a shame we're doing this at night, so we can't see the beautiful, um, you know, Texan, uh, Texan, um, so, like, uh, I'm trying to figure the word, uh, it's not surroundings, uh, Keep landscape, I guess? So, I, I, I can't remember. I don't actually know what word I was going for, but landscape works. Landscape works. Yeah, we can't see the beautiful uh, Texan sea scenery. There we go. Scenery. That's what I was looking for. Yes. Uh, we've got a fuel tank. A, a full a fuel tank. Yeah, we've got a fuel tank. I fucking hope we have at least. As someone, someone nicked it. No, we've got a fuel tank. We've got a... Oh, fuck off, Joe. Sorry about this, guys. We have a full tank. My brain was like, you want to say fuel again? No, I don't. We want to, uh, We have a full tank, um, so we should be, well, basically a full tank. So we should be able to get there with no issues. We should be able to do our nice little detours, and uh, honestly, it's going to be a beautiful trip. Only 60-odd miles to McAllister. We'll go, we'll, we'll be blitzing past McAllister. It was a really quick job down to uh, Brownsville. Like, out in any other profile, and even in, you know this, even in Euro Truck Sim, I would never have done a job that small. After like I got my own truck, I would have done that job in a rented truck, and I'd be like, "Nah, mate, I ain't wasting, I ain't wasting my time later on doing that." Right. Nah, mate. But no, I actually, I kind of because uh, because we've got like a trailer, where actually it's like it's offering me a much more limited jobs, which is really fun. I think it's a really interesting dynamic what I'm having right now. Where I have to have a specific, like, I feel like we're just we're limiting ourselves so much. It's 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 so much fun. This is why, like, I think I think any campaign I'm going to do, like, especially... I'm saying campaign now because I'm trying to refer to my strategy stuff. 
I think any like games like CK3 and stuff like that, I'm always gonna have like, set, I'm gonna set my own goals instead of being like conquer everything. I'm gonna like set goals and set certain things and then have to do certain things at the same time, stuff like that. So I feel like it really adds to it. Like I feel like it makes the game more fun. Limiting yourself is a lot of fun. Like if say if we did a many times only run, obviously we'd have to do that. We'd have to do like a started later day and it would be very hard. Like it eventually become pretty much impossible unless you, um, you know, like had maybe a mod that helps you get more men in arms. But then you start like teetering into the realm of, well, if you got a mod that gives you more men in arms, but it gives everyone, does it give everyone else more men in arms? Then you're just like, what's the play? You're just making it harder for yourself anyway. So it's, we, it could just be, you can only use men at arms and mercs, which would actually be painful. You know, that would be your, you'd be, you'd be, you'd have no money in your pocket. Like you'd be, you'd be spending like hundreds of gold every three, like thousands of gold every three years to retain mercenary groups. If you decide if you're at war constantly, or if you're not at war that often, you'd be spending still a lot of money probably to keep at least one or two mercs on the books. Like you'd have levy. And your levy would be a deterrent to uh, people trying to attack you. So you'd have levy, but you'd never use it. You'd then need to have, like, a good string of leaders who are all, you know, martially focused. So that you've got, like, a really good commander constantly. Because while having great knights is good, you know, and having a good marshal who could probably... Maybe he's better than you. Maybe he leads your men. That's fine. But you want to, you know, if you're, like, doing a thing where you're leading men at arms, you want to be leading them yourself. At least that's my opinion, anyway. But yeah. Keep left. Let's get ourselves over to Lorraine. I think we're now yeah, we're now just going through um McAllister. Wonderful little place. Gonna hop over here and uh, off we go. Bye McAllister. You were great. You offered me a really nice job, but I'm really upset I didn't take it. I think it, by part 20, we should definitely have um, the sleeper. Because money's coming in at a rate that's... Honestly, like, we're getting paid... Yeah, we don't want to look at that. We're getting paid 8 grand for this. We have 83 grand right now. Our uh, partner's bringing in... Well, not our partner. Our employee's bringing in about three, two to three, two to 4 grand every job. So if we say she's bringing in 2 grand, and say we bring in 10, 20, 15 grand a day, that's 17 grand. Like, we're making 10 grand profit out after loans and if we start if we pay that loan off then that's a guaranteed 100 grand we can then you know borrow again which is what i want to do which is what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to wait we're going to see how long it takes and if we can pay off that 100 grand we'll pay it off and then as soon as we need it again we'll get it out straight away and you know ritz up our truck a little bit slowly pull down back to 64 there we go Don't mind me, bud. Just uh, pulling out so I can take over because you're going a little bit slower than I am. Which is weird because you're in a uh, beautiful Subaru, so you should be uh, you should be out. You should be pulling out of here, you know, disappearing into the sunset, you know, having some fun. Go straight. Yes, that was a fucking perfect stop. I'm happy with that. That was perfect. In my mind. Perfect in my mind. The game probably disagrees, but I think that was perfect. Very happy with that. We've also nearly done 3,000 miles on this, and we haven't even left Texas. Fucking hell. In Europe, I like it when Europeans say we've been to it. Like we've been to so, we've been to so many countries, and we're like you know we've been all over the place. And then there's like you know we're in uh, America, Truck Sim. We've nearly done three thousand miles, and we haven't even left Texas. We're gonna put some fucking miles on this beast. We're gonna be doing like I have thirty odd thousand miles on my VNL, and I got that late. Like I got that very late. I had um, the seven thirty by the time I got that. Which, if we look very quickly. At the con, uh, the truck browser. Well, yeah, now so we got. I had the VNL, so we. I didn't get a new truck until level ten. We got ours five levels earlier. 
So the miles aren't going to be a great discrepancy, of course. Like, there's good, but there's going to be a discrepancy. Like, you know, we're going to make a lot. We're going to have, by the time I get to the same level I am on my other profile, we'll have done probably five or so thousand more miles, I would say. Go straight. Ooh. Okay. Freightliner, bro. You know... Do you mind? Damn it. You got me stuck. Now I'm like stupidly far over the line. I'm say I recognize that sound. That'll be our lovely mistress, the rain. God damn you, boss. You're pulling away from me. Don't like it. Holy shit, the rain came on very strong. We need to be careful. We don't want to, uh, you know... We don't want to, you know, get hurt. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting, uh, you know, seeing how many miles we totter by the end of this campaign, uh, by the end of this career mode on all of our different trucks. Because it's going to be high. We know that. We're going to... I'm probably... I want at least 10k on every truck. At least 10k. Because I think that would be a good amount. I think that's a great amount of miles on every truck. Like if we have every, if we have more than one. Again, if we don't have more than one, I want to see a lot of miles. And obviously, when depending when they bring out uh, the next day, which is Oklahoma or Kansas, we're going to be having even more fun. We're going to have more places to drive, and we're going to have a lot of fun. And Lone Star Trucking will be, if uh, if I end Lone Star Trucking before, like, if I decide to take his break, like a hiatus from Lone Star Trucking before that comes out, as soon as that comes out, you can be sure as shit, I'll, more, I'll be get as soon as I get it, I'll be doing this again. Because there's no way I'm not doing, continuing this campaign, if, uh, well, when uh, Oklahoma or, or Kansas, whichever comes out first, comes out. Don't know what that guy's done, but okay. I'm definitely very worried about getting up to 70 in this road and this rain. I feel like it spells disaster. I could be wrong, but... Hmm. Hmm. That's my opinion. Hmm. Okay, we're up to our limit. The uh, chill. Don't need to put our finger on that throttle anymore. Go straight. Barreling down this road. Okay, we're on a dual. Well, it's not a dual carriageway, but that's what we'd call it in the UK, where there's two roads. Uh, there's two uh, two roads right next to each other. Like this, like two uh, going in the same direction. I should I should clarify. I'm pulling out because we're again. Okay, 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 okay. I see what you're doing. We're going to that question mark, aren't we? I forgot about that. Okay, they want you just want me to keep slowing down. Damn. And there we are. Laredo. Laredo? Laredo? I'm not the best pronunciation, so. If I'm pronouncing the uh, place you're from wrong, I apologize wholeheartedly. Weather outside sounds fucking horrible. It's good to know there is also a, uh, a truck uh, garage here. We will definitely be buying that at some point. Turn left. And we've got a, I believe it's a Peterbilt. Turn right. No, it's a recruitment agency. I need to somehow turn around here. Can I go over the grass? That's the question. If I can go over the grass, we're fine. If the grass has like an invisible wall, I'm screwed. 
Okay, we're fine. All good. Uh, I technically stopped, game. I stopped around the corner. Does that count? Yeah? Cool? Perfect. Recruitment agencies are the big one that I've been trying to find because uh, we've got our truck. We don't need a truck. What we need is the whoa, is the ability to uh, you know hire some new employee, hire you know the cream of the crop of the employees, and also eventually loads of employees. Oh shit! I need to get left. You go, go past me, mate. Go past me. You're in the lane. I need to be in. Like, you're in a goddamn Chevrolet, a Chevy, and you're fucking going slow. What the fuck is this? If you were in a Mustang, you'd be barrel barreling down there like a dick. I mean, you probably. I mean, if I was in a Chevy, I'd be barreling down there like a dick too. To be fair. Actually, no. Probably not in this weather. That guy is going really slow. Dude, the limit's 45. You know that, right? Like, you can read. Yes. You have the ability to comprehend the uh, the signs. I'm gonna take that as a no. apparently my truck has more pull than you weird bastard but he's absolutely pelting it down shit please be a few points so I discover this from here and I don't have to go all the way over there you can do this yes I didn't have to go near it whip 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 what I like to see I think that's the first time I've seen a no right turn uh, thing. And there's no left turn there. Interesting. I wonder why. Oh, there must be one-way roads. How much further? How many? How much? You know, I've got 37 minutes left. That's not a long last. Uh, that's a pretty good. I mean, that was a. I'd say this has been a pretty nice little quick trip. No complaints from me at all. I'll definitely say that for certain. But don't get me wrong. It'd have been nice if it wasn't, you know, pissing it down so we could get some good traction, get up to speed a bit quicker. But, uh, you know, it happens. You know, I'm not, I got no complaints, really. Pardon me. Keep right. So he's going to... Then exit right. Right. Yeah, I feel like okay. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, I'm gonna just I'm just I feel like I was like eh, that was a little bit weird, mate. You said that a little bit early, I think. But no, I think he said that right on time. Actually, I was just my brain was uh you know overloaded with possibilities. Go straight. Oh yeah, straight. I need to cross over to the next side. Keep left, and then turn left. Okay, I'm gonna have to go in our cab because my uh, little American thing is right in the way of the uh the light. Unfortunately, there's no left turns on red, so. We'll have to turn here, so we have to wait. You can do it like, there we go. That's what I like to see, thank you. Level 11 cannot come soon enough. I want my fuel thing. Gonna get it soon, guys. You're worrying for no reason. Actually. Yeah, 19 minutes. Two hours to park it. And uh, Sorry, like an hour and a half to park it. Easy. And we had a nice little bop as well to go, you know, bob our heads along to. So as we're, uh, you know, getting trucking going. Right. Is there any war in that left? Oh, no, there is still war. I thought, I thought the war was just slowly, like, was dis uh, disappeared. Oh, we overshot that turn massively. Must be a business park again. Turn left. You know what, Doug? It's really nice. It's really nice having the sound on. It's, I don't know why, but I feel like it adds to it. Now, if the game does not give me this... Without having to turn down here, I will cry. Turn right. I 
I'm doing a lot of crying today. Hello, Mac dealership. Bye bye, Mac dealership. Right. This rain is absolutely horrible. We need to get to where we're going so we don't have to mess about now. Oh, beautiful trip. Shame about the weather, but, you know. Other than that, great trip, to be honest. Oh, it's a 30 foot 30 here. Bit of a bit of a wide spin around there. But we got it. We're, we're doing great. A run. I must admit, nice little like like, like all of Texas is just a really nice little play, like nice place. Be just down this road and then hopefully a nice easy parking and we'll be sorted. And then hopefully we'll also get to level nine so I know that level ten is in the you know it's in the uh ow. Get myself. Hopefully level ten is in the uh well no that level ten sorry is in the uh site and in the uh in the in the very near future. I've just realized this would have probably been a lot easier if we just went doof doof. Actually, no, we dad's got all the way up to there. That probably, we probably just didn't, we just probably, it was the only thing that we did, like, took us more time was the uh, diversion to get the, um, the recruitment center, which was unfortunately, and I say unfortunately, it was very necessary. The rain, yeah, the rain's, the rain's letting up. Not this side, it's the other side. Hey, they they get they're gonna let me do a good my favorite side turn in. Before we park it, I'm gonna check the sands that quickly. Uh, gameplay. Where's the parking? Parking up here. Still parking. Okay, there isn't a way in here to actually block the, uh, to like, to stop it from asking me if I want to park or if I want to skip. Well, <laughs> ridiculous. Get myself enough room on that side, right? Yeah, close the room. Oops, shit, didn't mean to press the circle there. Nope, didn't get myself anywhere near enough room. Well done, Joe. And I turned a little bit too wide. But should you know what? This is my trailer. You'll accept it. Like I'm not leaving this trailer here. You don't need to like you know. It, it'll be what it'll be. And yeah, we're definitely level nine. Okay, so uh, I want to do another long distance, really. But a thousand, like a thousand miles, is a lot. Really fragile level two. So we'll level up, what have we got? Level nine. So we've got this new transmission. So we've got the Aero X's, the Aero X 2020s, which are really nice. Uh, we've got the new handles, got some new rims. And trailer wise, we got uh, the new dry van, 48 feet rear and front. A bulk feeder, um, new stuff for a, uh, you know, different stuff. We've got a, we've got a bunch of stuff. We've got a grain hopper. Let's have a look at the trailer purchase. So we can now get flatbed, a drop deck. A bulk feed, a grain hopper, a chip fan. What's a chip fan? What the fuck are you? Can it only ever be single. What the fuck is this? I 
mean, don't get me wrong. It could be our, it could be our beautiful color. But what the fuck is it? I don't actually know what this is. Like. I'm legit just like, I want to know what this would, could, I want to know what that would carry, but yeah, no, well, yeah, I don't want it. Uh, bulk feeder. Oh, wait, it says, uh, light bulk material, which is the same as this. No, this is general dry goods. All oh, right. This one's a good one to have because it eventually becomes a triple. This is the trailer that fucked us over. It's a definitely a very good little trailer we can definitely have. We're definitely going to want to own at some point. Uh, oh, we can. I think we can just pay off our loan. We could, but it, we wouldn't have enough money for tomorrow. So let's uh, see you and see. But unfortunately, guys, we're going to have to end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share. But most importantly, guys, stay safe. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys for another episode of some Star Legion Trucking. See you guys then.